Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to HBI Auto. My name is Kendall. For those that don't know me, I have a lot of things going on at the shop, so I wanted to kind of update you guys on what's going on around right here. Uh, it's raining outside, so we can't really take any cars out. Hopefully, it stops raining. We could take something out. But let's go ahead and see what's going on at the shop. I'll probably have Dan explain this a little bit better than I can, but he's working on 2014 Aventador. I absolutely love this paint color, especially with the wheel combo and even the interior. I think this is a beautiful Aventador. Very well done. Dan and I'm gonna have him explain what's going on with this in a little bit. Nice, nice shot there. Anyway, now we're uh, cleaning out the intake because it's full of oil, because the oil, air oil separator went out. Yeah, every time he starts it up, I just sits for a little bit after driving and smokes quite a bit. You can look in the throttle bodies and all that, there's oil standing in there. Oh, lovely. So, air oil separator's back here, and I gotta get that intake off. And there's a hole. That's you know. Yeah, there's no. There's a hole right there. There's no. <laughs> Every time you wash this thing, the center gets wet. So all those bolts are nice and rusted in this situation. What's going on with the gator? Uh, I had to pull some throttle bodies off to get some harness made, which we got those made. I got to mount this in here. It's somewhat mounted. I'm a water pump. I almost have everything to be able to kind of start it. Almost done taking it back apart. So it's, it's time to start I'm waiting on my fuel pressure regulators to come in so I can change the fuel lines and then I'll be done taking the intake off. He didn't, I don't think I mentioned it, but Art was from EAG when we were out in Austin, Texas. He's actually making the manual kit for us so that we can put it in this car and uh, we can get it back on the road. I mean, Wolf Mother's playing. Hard. Big reveal. <laughs> Wolf, Wolf Mother's playing over here. Oh man! Empty. Oh. Look at all the oil sitting in there. Oh. I soaked some of it up. There's some I didn't get. Oh. That's 80,000 miles right there. Look at that. <laughs> that's beautiful. You know, that's yeah. between some oil changes. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. So you just started pulling everything? Uh, we got the, uh, we're doing intakes. We're gonna be, we had to pull the frame out and get it fixed. And also we're doing oh, yeah. the valve covers too. We got all this sitting here. So you can get the actuator whenever he gets bored. And then uh, we pulled the cats off. They didn't want to come out. Yeah, tons of progress. That's great about the oil. Yeah. That's a beaut. Yeah. More progress over here. I didn't realize how big the actuator was. The factory one? Yeah, and then it just goes down to that small, like a scud one. But you can see he's got the carbon fiber center console in there. He's cleaned up the interior a little bit more, which is really cool to see. So no, this is not a GT3 RS. This is instead a Turbo RS. And what I mean by that is that this is a Turbo S underneath. This is a 2014 Turbo S, as you can see from the interior. But the Darwin Pro Aero kit is on this car. It's a full kit that has been done, and it's absolutely transformed the look of this car. Why not call it just a GT2 RS? The engine, as well as the turbo system, are different between the 2 RS and the Turbo S. Just a little knowledge for you. But, yep, you've got a full RS style kit in here. This car is actually in for an Apple CarPlay unit. As you can see, they've started to work on it a little bit. Um, so we're taking over on that now. This is a really good client of ours. I have actually photographed this car before and I love this build. Or the agate gray with the brushed wheels. It just looks beautiful in my opinion. Now this is actually really cool. This is an F430 that survived Hurricane Harvey. If you recall that hurricane from years ago now, it was a pretty, pretty bad storm, but this one got water damage and the owner ended up trying to repair it and bring it back to life. Now, he ended up hitting a major roadblock with it, so that's when he dropped it off, and we've been taking it over, slowly working out all the electrical system and all the wiring issues within this car, but you can see it doesn't really look like it's ever been in a flood, which is really cool. Even the engine bay, the exhaust, everything looks very, very clean on this car, so really excited to get this one back on the road because it is, because this one does have an interesting story that I think it'll be really cool to see this back to life. We've got some normal service going on on the Boxster right here. Uh, you see, well, semi-normal service. Uh, engine's been pulled. So with this Gallardo, which is pretty much, I think, an identical paint to the Aventador, this one is actually getting a new window actuator on it. There was a suction cut mount on the window, and the window was rolled down without double thinking it, and it ended up actually really affecting the actuator. We have this right now while we figure all that out. But that is going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. If you, have, if you have any questions about the cars that you saw or any questions about service options for your vehicle, please leave us a comment. We'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.